beat to me. Mr. McCormick is here to see you. Uh, well, send him on in. And corral all my calls, honey. I don't want any interruptions. Come on in, E.G. Sit down. Got a job for you. E.G. Right here is Hopkins College. Full of young, hungry students who love to eat fast food. And over here, more than 20 blocks away, is Wrangler Bob's number 194. And in between, you got your pizza joints, your taco joints, and your roast beef joints. Now, as they drive from point A, the college, to point B, us, their young and impressionable minds are likely to stray. Now, right here is a little pissant filling station right next to the college. It's perfectly clear to me. Do you understand what I'm saying? Uh, <clears throat> let me see if I got this straight. There's this um, filling station next to the, the college. I want that piece of property, E.G., and I don't care what we have to do to get it. Have a nice day. Proper, proper, proper. Bloody rang the bob. And you know, there's nothing better than gathering family and friends together around the old backyard grill and sizzling up some meat. And I know when you think about fast food, you think about something that would choke a possum. Not so at Wrangler Bob's. Each one of our Texas-style burgers is charbroiled over an open flame just for you. So come on over to our house. I have 750 of them. And bring the youngins. I love kids. And cut! Okay, we said rock. Which one of you rocket scientists thought about bringing that dog in here? Well, that's great. I want to do just one more. Well, if it is great, why do we have to do one more? That was just the first take. Listen, if we have to do another take, it's going to be you I'm grabbing. I think I have all I need. Thank you, Mr. Bundy. E.G. That's a wrap. Uh, there's, a, there's a slight uh, problem with, the, uh, with, the, with that property, uh... <clears throat> the the young woman uh, needs time to think. Time is money, E.G. I am Wrangler Bob Bundy for crying out loud. I serve 90 tons of beef, 180,000 pounds of french fries, 50,000 gallons of chili, and a truckload of mom's hard apple pie to America 365 days a year. Why can't I get what I want? I have always gotten what I wanted. Even as a child, my parents were afraid to deny me anything. That was shortly after my brother mysteriously disappeared. But, but boss, uh... E.G., how difficult can this be? You're being pushed around by a 16-year-old girl. She's 25. You were a fullback for Dallas. Oh, I was, <clears throat> I was drafted in an off year, and I didn't play that much. I sat on the bench. E.G., do you have any idea how much a Wrangler Bob's restaurant could make in that location? Carry the one. A lot. Now I want you to get over there and corral that filly, even if it means offering her more money. Hey, and action. <clears throat> Howdy, friends and neighbors. This is your old buddy Wrangler Bob. How's that chili, partners? <laughs> Chili pretty good, Wrangler, boss. Cut, cut, for God's sake. Give me five minutes, five minutes. Take five. This better be important, E.G. I got 12 more of these to do today. It's the contract, boss. Boss, I'll have it signed and on your desk this afternoon. Now you're cooking with gas, E.G. You know I offered that old man good money for that property, but he wouldn't sell. Well, the old coot didn't know diarrhea from a chocolate shake. Now the groundhogs are bringing his mail, and that little filly's gonna sell us that property for pocket change. Just goes to show you, E.G., there's nothing money won't buy. That's what I like about America. Mr. Bundy. Uh, not now, sweetheart. <laughs> no autographs, we're talking business. Uh, I, I know, boss. This, this is uh, Samantha Davis, you know, the owner of the, the, the... You know, the little filly, the old coot's daughter. I'd like to thank you. Thank me? Yes, thank you for helping me make up my mind. I almost did a really stupid thing. But now I know why Pop would never sell to people like you. And another thing, Mr. Bundy, you're wrong. There are some things that money can't buy. 
like dreams. Hold on, E.G. Wait till my quarter runs out. What's this? Grand opening, Pop's Burger Station. I am losing my sense of humor, E.G. Well, uh, I... <laughs> You know, I told you you should have just let me uh, lean on her with a, uh, a cattle prod or something. I tell you. Well, thank goodness I don't hire you to think. I run a respectable corporation here, E.G. We don't have to resort to intimidation to get what we want. All it takes is a little finesse. Something subtle. Looks like it's time for Wrangler Bob to get personally involved. E.G., uh, you have changed for a dollar. are our foundation, the very cornerstone of our greatness. And it takes more than just a good location to make it in the fast food business. It takes uh, marketing surveys, demographic studies, product positioning, price per unit on volume generated, franchise overhead. Why, well, it's got nothing to do with food. Well, you've pretty much proven that. Well, thank you. Now... <laughs> I don't want to rain on y'all's parade, but you see, y'all are just a little bit of piss ants in this business. So little, in fact, that if you're not careful, you're liable to get stepped on. So don't fight me. You can't win. Now, these badges will make you official deputies of mine. And they're good for one free small soda at any Wrangler Bob's locations. Tax not included. Boy, we're prohibited by law. So, remember, little piss ants never win. Have a nice day. Last time I looked like I was ready for a toe tag. <clears throat> you, wanted to, you wanted to see me? E.G., these kids are killing me. Business at 194 is down 86%. Now, I tried talking nice to that girl, but nobody, but nobody messes with Wrangler Bob's bottom line. This means war. Get out, all of you. Go on, get out. Not you, dummy. This means we're gonna have to call in reinforcements. Hello, Putin. Who's this? This is Daddy Bucks. Oh, Daddy Bucks. What do you want? Are you in the bubble bath? Yeah. Well, let me listen. How's that sound? Like heaven, Putin. I got a little job for you. No job's too big or too small for you, Wrangler Bob. Hmm. Drug Administration in Washington, D.C. Our nation's capital. Industrial espionage is what made America great. Who are we to argue with tradition? You're three dollars short. DG, uh, you got change for a five? Mr. you make a statement, please. Sure. Reporters, DG, get these hacks off my right, 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 right,
Sam. Go oh, in. There's another problem we need to talk about. Well, Nagi first got the loan. Look, what is Wrangler Bob doing here? I didn't know Dixie knew Wrangler Bob. Looks like we've been set up. Now, I'm sure all you good folks at home are wondering why your old buddy Wrangler Bob is here today. Well, fast food is near and dear to my heart, and I hate to see this noble institution get a black eye by a few misguided individuals. And I just hope that these malcontents receive the full measure of justice that this judge can dish out. Well, that's enough for now. I'll see y'all after court. I have some very influential friends, and I just might be able to get you out of this trouble you're in, if I've a mind. I'm listening. Samantha, no. Drew, look, I would just like to forget this ever happened. So, what are you offering? Your property, minus the expenses I incur trying to close you people down. That's ridiculous. You can sell it to me or I'll buy it from the bank when they foreclose the mortgage on your property. Mortgage? What mortgage? That's what I was trying to tell you before we went in. I can see you two have a lot to talk about. See you on the inside. When are we going to get on with this barbecue? I want to see these people prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law. Order in this court. Who are you? Well, I'm Wrangler Bob Bundy. Well. Sit down and shut up. This is better than mine. Well, Mr. Bundy, that is called free enterprise. <laughs> I never heard of it. Mr. Hamilton, I trust that I will never see you in this court again. Case dismissed. Bring it up, Bob. Leave me alone. Come on. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Now, hold on, sweetheart. I'll give you a million dollars for that formula. I want it in my sauce. I'm sorry, Formula 9 was an accident, a fluke. I couldn't do it again without extensive testing. It's not even patented. It, it's not. E.G., get me that sauce. Go, get out. Order! Order! Wrangler Bob. And at Wrangler Bob's, we serve the best Texas style burgers that ever hit your gut. Ain't that right, Winchester? Oh, you can say that again, Wrangler Bob. Yes, sir. At Wrangler Bob's, we put a little bit of Texas in every burger. Because an empty gut is like an unloaded gun. A dangerous proposition. Am I right, Winchester? Uh, Am I right, Winchester? Uh, 
he knows. You remember when you were a youngin? The best place in the world to be was Mama's kitchen. All those wonderful smells coming from the oven, cakes, and cookies, and pies. Well, at Wrangler Bob's, we always make our desserts fresh and delicious because Mom's in each and every one of our kitchens cooking them up fresh just for you. Mm. Mama, how do you get around like that? <laughs> I don't know. Friday. <laughs> cut, cut. Shall we lose Mama and set up the chuck wagon set? Bingo. Roy, would you run a magnet over her pacemaker? Mm. Sure.